Welcome back to the show. Jack Scalfani here. Just want to remind you that we only have a few more of these barbecue aprons. I only made a small batch. And I know we're about ready to kick into barbecue season. So you guys get ready because we're all going to be wearing these things this summer. So if you don't have one, you're going to be missing out. So go to thebestsauces.com and check that out. Right now, though, let's get into... Uh, you guys are looking at the title going Game of Thrones. Some of you really know what this show is. It's awesome. It's like my favorite show on TV right now. And some of you couldn't care less. But Game of Thrones is an HBO show uh, back in the, you know, sword and sorcery and uh, dragons and all that stuff. That's the time period it's set back in. Uh, anyway, I was on the website Epicurious and Epicurious had, it was like a menu for Game of Thrones. It was like a bunch of food that they made back in that time frame. Uh, not that they really were dragons, but you know what I mean. So anyways, I, I looked at the list and one of them st uh, stuck out that I thought, oh, this might be interesting. So this is kind of like Game of Thrones food, okay, that they would probably eat uh, on the show. You might see this food being served. It's pretty cool. Cupcake tin pork pies. So not many ingredients. We got two eggs, some ground pork. Recipes down below. Don't forget, all our measurements are always put down below. We got some sage, pepper, salt, onion, breadcrumbs, and if you want to make fresh pie, pie dough crust, you can, but I'm using two uh, nine-inch rolls of pie crust dough, okay? And you can get the store brand, you can get Pillsbury, whatever you want, and we're going to be using that. And then we're going to be using one of these. Yep, that's right, cupcake tins. So before we even get started, what do you do? Let's see, we're gonna be baking. So we probably wanna set the oven on first, get that preheated. It's 375, so go preheat that. Oh wait, <laughs> All right, you done? Cool. While the oven is preheating, we're going to get started. We're gonna grease this pan first, so grease your cupcake pan. All right, in a large bowl, we're gonna do all our ingredients. Everything but the dough and a little bit of the egg. So let's get the pork in there first. One cup of breadcrumbs. I grated, you can finely chop or grate your onion. So I put that in there. The salt, your pepper, the sage, and your two beaten eggs. You're not gonna use it all, just some of it. Okay, so pour some of that in there. You save about that much, just a little bit. We're gonna brush the tops of these things at the end with the egg, so just put that off to the side. You're gonna mix this up. And when you're done, it should look a little bit something like that. Okay, there you go. Now, just go ahead and throw this in the refrigerator for right now. Uh, we're going to work on our, our pie dough. And then just put the flour off to the side. There you go. This whole table becomes a mess, but whatever. Never said I was clean, huh? Now this is already pre-rolled. Like I said, if you wanna make it fresh, go ahead and make your own fresh dough. I'm not ready to do that yet. That's, an that's another episode. Get some stuff on there. There we go. Look, see, this is what I'm talking about. Look, the whole thing's coming undone except this one piece. I never have good luck with this. There we go. Now I need to cut out 12 uh, four inch circles. Now for those of you who are like me, you don't have a biscuit cutter. I'm gonna use this lid here. I measured this, it's off my, it's off my breadcrumb container. And it's a four inch circle, so I'm gonna try and use this. I have no idea if it's gonna work. I do not have a biscuit cutter, so we're going to cut it with this lid here. So here we go. And then I'm gonna drop that 
right in my hand like that. Ta-da! That's good. Put this all together. We're going to get a few more, well, at least one more out of this, right? So you're probably going to need about two boxes of Pillsbury pie crust. All right, as you can see right here, I have all my, uh, all my four inch circles. Now I'm going to do another 12 with two inch circles. And the cool thing is if you don't have uh, a biscuit cutter, like I'm using this lid off of my breadcrumbs for four inch, I got this two inch lid uh, on anything you got. Just grab a lid. This is a molasses. Just pull it off. I'm gonna have to rinse that out, but then I'm gonna use this lid to cut my two inch circles. Okay, so here you go. Gonna start here, and we need 12 of those. Ta da! See? Works perfectly. Okay, and here's the last one. So we have 12 of those. There you go. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to line the cupcake tins. with the dough. Okay, and it looks something like this. Some are thicker than others because I had to remold them and recut them, but they're all beautiful. Okay, so here's our filling. Place that right in there. There they are, they're all filled. That's what they look like filled, okay? Now we're gonna top them off. Put these on top. Then you're gonna pinch, pinch the sides over. Try to seal them up a little bit. So basically I put all the two inch tops on here, okay? And I just got one more thing to do. I'm just gonna take that little bit of egg and brush it on the tops. There we go. And the last thing you wanna do, you've seen this uh, in a lot of pastry shops, you're just gonna wanna put a little, little slit in each one. And you're gonna bake these for 30 to 35 minutes in the oven at 375. So let's get these in right now, then we're gonna let them cool for about 15 minutes and we'll try them out, okay? Okay, they're done. And they look like they just came out of uh, Game of Thrones, too, because those are the nastiest looking pastries I've ever made. <laughs> That's why I don't do dough. But they smell like a million dollars. So let me just give you a close-up look of this. I mean, the pork's busting out of them a little bit. I didn't pinch the sides as well as I should have, but you know what? This is my first attempt at this, and they look pretty good. I'm going to let them cool for a little bit, and we're going to pop them out and see how they look on a plate but they smell amazing. All right, let's cut one of these open and see how they look. Look at that. Is that cool? Wow, I really packed it in. It's probably why they didn't seal well on top because I put too much in there, but they look delicious. Look at that. They're beautiful. They're piping hot still. Wow, they smell great, flaky crust. Let's give this one a try. Ooh, it's gonna be a little hot. You know me, I never wait for it to cool all the way. Probably gonna burn my mouth, here we go. Mmm, mmm. It's flaky, I love it. Oh wow. Mm-hmm, mmm. Yeah. This is definitely a keeper. I gotta tell you, they may not look good on top, but they're delicious inside. Amazing. All the flavors. Have fun with the insides of these things. Try different meats, seasonings. Uh, let me know what you do. Also, do me a favor. Who is your favorite Game of Thrones character on the show? Who do you like? Oh my God. I wish I could mail these to you. All right, you guys, try these out. And let me know who your favorite character is, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Welcome back to the show. How you doing? It's time to uh, take three. 
and get your Cooking with Jack barbecue apron uh, now. Barbecue apron. Let's try it again. Because I can't talk. Right there.